Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the world of Risk Global Domination. I am Kilted. I'm a competitive player in Risk Online today. I'm the orange player from United States, and we're going to be hopping into a big, disgusting map where spawn matters, and the whole game's just going to snowball. And if you're watching it now, somebody snowballed and pulled some shit off. We'll see how it works. Oh, you're not supposed to swear in the first 15 seconds of a YouTube video. Demonetized. <clears throat> we're playing Spaceport Sigma. And I am in the fourth position as orange, and I don't like my position at all. Do I just cap in this corner and not care? Just don't care about anything? So the blizzards, what do the blizzards do? This blizzard here cuts the map in half here. Can I get away with this blizzard? Or this cap? Can I get away? Well, I don't have a cap that's good. I'm stuck in corners, dog. This is terrible. I'm playing progressive capitals. That's not a bad cap. That's, yeah, that makes sense. Green goes on this three, maybe? What kind of Fiesta Dogtown plays can I make? I want to do something ruthless. Black's going to have this bonus on turn one. So if I go behind him, he's going to have this bonus turn one and then destroy me. Uh, purple's going to try to take this turn one. Green might go here. How do I make green go here? I go over here somewhere? I have to screw red in the butt? I could do that. Make red taste it. I'll just go behind him. What's up? Dude, thanks for the follow. Prime time on kick. Welcome in. Fuck purple. Like, if I cap back here, I'm fucked. Sure, we'll ally everybody. We're playing Spaceport Sigma. Progressive. Capitals. Alliance is on, Blizzard's on, no fog, no portals. We have progressive cards. We have Blizzard's on. Choking stuff up. I'm sorry I need to hit your territory. I don't care. Obviously you're going to do stuff. Hopefully you get destroyed with dice. Green should cap here. Go Hoos. I mean this is 69. This is just the best cap. Whether he goes there or not, it's up to him. Anywhere else he's screwed, right? Black's going to end. I think Black wins already. Because he's going to take this bonus turn one. Yeah, we're screwed. Black wins. Because <clears throat> Black's going to take this bonus turn one. Oh, unless the red bot screws him. That could be cool. But once he gets this bonus, then he takes this, and then he takes this. And then he'll have all three of these bonuses. Expedition Command and Launchpad Z because of this blizzard. All of it trapped behind his capital. And then he can come out with a single stack. And red's wasting all of its troops in here. So he'll still get this bonus on turn one. Yeah, we have two bots. Who else is a bot? White is, right? Wait, red's a bot. I capped here like I'm going to screw over the red player, but red's a bot. So black actually gets this cap too. Oh, God. Well, that's not good. Turn order, man. That's so bad. Spaceport Smegma. That's what this map is. It's disgusting. I could have had a one point bonus behind black. Yeah, this one. It's just there's a lot to take back here. Round one, GG's. Yeah, I hate this map. It's the most snowball y map ever. Purple's gonna try to take this uh, corner. Like, I can't even get white cap because white's gonna come off cap and then everybody else gets a shot at it before I do. So, like, I get no advantage from the bots in this game. I wish the guy, when he didn't ready up, just uh, it put us back in the lobby so I could actually have a real game. I don't want to play a game with two bots. <clears throat> Alright, got a wild card to start. Yay! Well, he gets eight troops. Yo, if it's stacking against this cap and stays here, that's okay. Maybe knocks black out of here. No, it's red. It's unfortunate. I think black just wins. Johnny Yoinka cap in the house. This is not going great. Yeah, yeah. Spaceport Ligma nuts. Every time I play this game on this map, it's just really dumb. You you need like god luck to have a good spawn, and then you can snowball this game. I don't have god luck on my accounts. It's disabled. King John, why are you talking smack? What happened last time you talked smack? Didn't we crush you in a 1v1 so hard that, like, you're still feeling it? Maybe that's why you're commenting. 
I feel you on that, especially with no fog. Yeah, yeah. It gives the it should give the host the option to go back to lobby. Yeah, like if people don't ready, it should just send you back to lobby, right? Like I want to play like this one. I actually fired with one bot, so it should. I was looking for a five player game with one bot for a little fiesta. But uh, as soon as another person didn't ready, it shouldn't fire it with a bot. It should just go back to lobby because I don't want to play a game like that. This is spawn. Yeah, this is one of the most spawn luck dependent maps in the entire entirety of Risk, right? Which is why you'll never see me put this map in a tournament game. The masochist wants more. King John's is from the Virgin Islands. We always talk shit. True. Damn virgins. Yep, he's taking this bonus. Nobody's gonna... Oh my god. Bro, I'm not even close to that. Dude, you have to attack Black or he's gonna win the game. No. Fuck! You don't understand. This isn't worth it. You dude, you you yoink Black's cap, and you're you've got a game. His cap is way better than. Oh my god! We need green to hit cap. I can't. Seven. I, I can't fucking do anything. I'm just gonna keep going nice and slow, and then when I finally get this bonus, Black's gonna break me anyways. That's what's gonna happen here. I have a wild card, but it's progressive. Well, White's gonna break him, right? No, White wants to take its own bonus. Oh, it might three on one. Our only hope is the White bot three on ones. Oh! Got him! Jesus. <laughs> Purple's like, fuck that, I want your my bonus. Yeah. I mean, like, Black's cap is a free win. I don't know why. Like, it was good to snipe this cap, I guess. But, like, if this, the second he cleans this board out, we're really screwed. Unless he's too slow to do it and the trades start coming down hot and heavy. TK with the sub. What's up, man? Thank you. 15 months. 15 months. It's unbelievable how long some of these subscribes have been for now. White bot's the hero we need, he really is. Why are you... Oh, he's leaving. He's holding that position and guarding my bonus, or what? <clears throat> Red gets four. I'd like Red to complete this bonus. It's not going to, though. It's too slow on the bonus completion. Bring the three over here or something. Okay. I really want you to have this bonus done, Red. I'm rooting for you. Black gets ten still. He's gonna now he's got this bonus and he'll lock it down. Oh, the only eight troops over here though. Bro, we hope Red. Oh, and he's also gonna. Yeah, he's gonna. Pop, pop, and guard from the center. No, he's knocking purple out. Yeah. Attack black. This is so greedy, dog. There's... There's absolutely no way you don't do this. All right, all right, whatever. Purple has his own little honeypot he wants. Fine. Fine. Fuck. I hate this game. Can I get good dice? Probably not. Seven cap. Cool. <laughs> I take a bonus. I'm going to try. I put a two here, so black has to put more than just a couple troops to break it. Yeah, white's not breaking them. If green doesn't break black, we're screwed. And he's not going to. He can't, like, he can't. Black holds this for one turn. It's basically over. Because his next turn is buffing this cap so nobody gets through. And then he just kills Red out from behind him. 
Oh, uh, I guess I see Purple's play. He wants the two bonuses. So he's kind of locked in with a plus 10. Black will have a plus 16. Do my dirty work for me. I piss excellence. Ooh, delicious. These blizzards are brutal. They're always brutal on this map. You're always going to get blizzards cho choking off sections, right? They are pretty disgusting. <clears throat> he takes the white cap. Thumbs up. Doesn't break me. So the only person that can break me is black. What a game. All right, red takes his bonus. Black uses this bonus to break red. At least it takes the bonus. Now black is forced. This three on one, nice. Sits here with a two, hopefully. Nice, and this three comes up. At least force black to do some stuff. Yeah, he has to at least put eight troops here, which means he's less likely to put some over here. And he wants to guard this cap too from white. And he's got to guard this from white. Black's got a lot of things he's got to guard at the same time. I get to hold my bonus. Oh, baby, I get to hold my bonus. Now, can I come out and, like, steal Black's cap at some point? I can't right away. <laughs> Red's going to trade in here, too, right? Dude, he's so weak. White's going to break that. Uh, maybe we're not as screwed as I thought. I thought Black was going to run away with the game, but he's 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 caring too much. This is not important. I, this is what's losing him the game. If he didn't care about this and he full sent here, he would have had this a lot faster. Purple's actually in a really good spot now. Good for you, Purple. Don't listen to me and just win the game instead. I see how it is. Okay. Let's see what happens. Uh, settings, it's, it's uh, balanced blitz, and it is just progressive capitals. That's all. Uh, eight on three, that's nice. Yeah, well, you're bordering a bot and you're letting it hold a bonus. What do you want to do? He's he's in the middle of two bots while Purple's holding two bonuses, not fighting anybody. So actually, fine, Purple. Good job ignoring me. Roll the last white exterior. I don't want to put any extra troops up there. I would love if green went for Black's cap here. He's not. Where's my plus two? In the corner. Chillin'. I like this little guard I've got from the green nine, though. Red trades comes through the three. It doesn't break, but it doesn't need to break. Yeah. And then red's going to be stacking up behind black. If he doesn't trade, he's in a lot of trouble stacking between these two bots. This is kind of funny. What is the red player's name? Uh, timer? This is the guy that didn't ready up in the lobby. He ran out of time. Wait, your name is Timer. That's why you asked. Interesting. Black goes all over here just to destroy red. Okay. He trades early just to make sure, and now he goes full send on red. Now we pray that white goes for this capital. Also, white might... Tra white doesn't have a trade. Never mind. Wait, white maybe goes for this. No, can't. Black's got this bonus, though. I wonder if Purple Rain Dingo's black at some point or just keeps chilling. He might just keep chilling. Like, add in here and take a card or knock people out of the corner. Yeah. Hits black out of there. Leaves me. Leaves me kill guarded. So I could trade with my wild or I could chill. I think I'll knock, I think I'll knock white out of this part now. So green's going to get seven. He can make a 16 to 26. Purple says attack white. No. Attacking white is exactly, yeah, oh, over here, yeah. 
This is what I'm planning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're on the same page, bro. And I can trade without my wild, so that's good. <laughs> All right, we're actually getting a game. I didn't think we were gonna get a game. I thought black was gonna snowball. So often you just pe see people run away on this map so fast. Black will dingle green. Uh, Black's gonna try to just, no, once Black clears red out of behind him and has this single stack on his cap, he's in a really good spot. <clears throat> I don't know why Purple cares so much about this 11 stack. I like that it's here though, it's been guarding me, he hasn't broke me. If he did break me, I would have had to knock his stack out. But I've actually got to hold, and I have like a decent amount of troops. Like I have more troops than Black and a trade coming in. Although he's about to hold this bonus and clean red out and have a single point guard on two bonuses, which I definitely don't have. So longer term, Black's in a way better spot than me. All right, 13. Can he clean this whole pocket with 13? 3, 6, 9, 11, uh, 10. He needs not terrible dice. He's got one split to do. Yeah, he's got it. No. He keeps the kill guard or the bonus or whatever. Like, I would have took the bonus. The trades are low enough. I would have just took the bonus. Purple gets 18. Now I'm actually kind of rooting for black because we have to slow purple down. That's the only way it's going to happen. Purple's going to go for what? I mean, I guess if purple went for the red kill, he'd get a 12 trade off of it if black knocked this out. So he would have got a 12 for hitting this. It's not that important. He's going to do this. Okay. Let's white hold, though. Yeah. Okay. We trade. Wait, do I just kill red, then? It's a 15 trade if I knock this out. Kind of important, yeah. That makes sense. Wait, I don't get the kill, obviously. I'm stupid. I'm the- I was literally just talking about it. Why do you want me to feed the red kill to black? I was- Dude, I, you guys are like cringing at me right now. I literally just talked about how we left this in here the whole time and I'm like, wait, I could kill red for its cards? <laughs> oh my god, what's wrong with me today? I need an energy drink. Give me a break. The king of risk. Oh god, I'm not that now. Can't even see things. Take out the purple one. I thought about it, but like... I don't want to send any bad karma or any... I don't want to fight purple right now. <clears throat> I want purple to have to beef with black. I want to kind of sit out of the way while they beef. That's kind of what I have to work on. And then maybe try to chain some stuff later. Maybe green and white get weak and I can chain kill, chain kill. Take a better position. And then go into a three player end game or something. Bots always have trades on three. You are right. What if it has a trade on a three? I mean, we'll find out. But like, if it doesn't have a trade on three, I'm feeding black four cards. And I'm also losing troops to hit that. So I don't think worth it. 24 here. Okay. Trades on three? No, it doesn't trade on three. See? That's why we didn't do it. Now we're going to be playing around with this red. Well, black could kill red. He comes off this 12 and gets it. And then adds three here. So he could get the red kill if he wants it. He, we just make him stretch through the white bot for it. He's doing it. Okay, well played. Yeah. That's a well played. So, like... Purple asking me to hit red there, it would have just made this easier on black. And if black fucks it up, purple gets it. Oh, that's actually bad. No. Okay, he gets it. Oh my god. 
Dude, if Black fed that to purple, we would have been in so much trouble. Fuck. The Doyle rules! Black should have ran over here before he hit this one out. <laughs> you should kill red, just it's cheap. Just hit that seven and then run through all of black, yeah. He's gonna break purple now? No, he's going for the white kill. Oh no, he's feeding white. It's 17 troops. Is there a split? There's no split if he does it right. 16 v 11 is not 100%, but it's good. Dude, he's off both capitals. This is... A oh my god, please work. I mean, cool, you got the bots, dude, but at what cost? <coughs> like, what's the trade? 25? All on this cap. You have to go all on this cap. You have to abandon this cap. I hope purple gives me this cap and doesn't fight me for it. I'll say thanks. Give me that. And then I need green to get out of my bonus. He's guarding inside of himself? Knocks me out of here. Uh, okay. Okay, I get the cap. I'm not going to... Wait. He doesn't break black either? Sending green a heart because I want him to go out. All right, I have two capitals. My position has improved a little bit. Black has four bonuses and I'm not breaking him at all. Let's see what happens with black and purple over here. <laughs> yeah. Please go up to your caps now. Let me have my next bonus. Not that the bonus matters a lot. Do I hold my wild? No, I have to use it if I trade. Let's see how this plays out. It could be a long one. You think Green's going to take my cap if he has the chance? That's why I kind of got him as even as possible. Also, if he rolls one of them and gets very weak, he's very uh, at the mercy of people. Leave your 40... Get fucking out of my bonus! Uh, goose! Fucking goose, bro. Black hold four bonuses! Wow. Alright, that's special. Yeah, I hit purple. Dude, black could actually completely, like, basically kill purple right now. If he wanted to. He, hit, he leaves the purple one here. Green only has one card, so I don't have to worry about my caps right now. Can I semi-threaten green to leave? What kind of weird shit can I do here? Trying to signal him, thank you. Alright, I'm pointing at it. Thanks. Like, please leave my bonus. Go to your capitals. Like, you are very killable being off cap with a 55 stack.
Fuck you, Goose! Will I be your Galentine? No, thank you. What a dick. Yeah, quite a dick move, right? I think I feed his kill now and he can fuck himself or what? I trade for 40. I can kill that. Ah, okay. Look at the size of this stack he could make. Take this capital. Yeah, let's fuck green up. Yeah, you like that green? How do you like that? I can't even kill him, but... Oh, wait, can I? Oh, for two cards only. <laughs> What would I have to make this? Like a 40 something, and then this would be a 50. It'd be close. I mean, I kind of want to kill him just because he's a douchebag, right? All right, here, here's what I'm going to do. Fuck you, Green. You're dead now. Now you're dead. You've got nothing. You were fourth place. Suck my ass. Goes back to capital. That's your that's your one move to try to live. Idiot. Fuck out of my side. I almost killed. I could have killed him there. I could have put enough here to hit the cap. And then also came off of this instead of my 11 to hit the 52. I would have been like 50 on 52. Probably win, split. There's a chance I lose the kill and full feed it to black. Now what happens? I fall way behind these two. I need them to fight at some point. Green's problem was he wanted that black cap that Kyle took, so now he's punishing him for it. I guess. But, like, if black goes off, it, like... It's definitely mine. <clears throat> He's already got two capitals. Purple's got a two point on this side of the board, by the way. Open to do the reach around. Yeah, he takes cards there. Purple and black have like quite the friendly relationship right now. <laughs> so green only gets theoretically five troops, right? So he makes an eight there. <laughs> it's a trade while holding the wild again. I mean, I'm still in the game. I am 50 troops behind black and 30 behind purple. They're going to get way stronger than me. <clears throat> But, like, if we're playing to win, like, unless these guys are friends, but if, if if they're both playing to win, at some point they have to hit each other. They have to fight, right? It's the only thing that makes sense. I say if we do the moose tickle in the backdoor slapper puppy on the slippery tuna, it just may be crazy enough to work. I can try that strat. I'll try it. How do you want to kill green now? Now I don't have to kill green. <clears throat> I got him out of my shit. I'm not going to keep up with these two, but at some point they probably hit each other, right? Black has three sixes and a four. Purple has two fours and a six and two capitals. So black gets 35 a turn. I think at some point these collide. 27 for purple, 35 for black. And then what am I going to get? Something. I guess we could do the math. Six plus two caps is ten plus ten. I get twenty. That's actually not that terrible. I'll take the twenty. I'll trade here with these guys, maybe. Mm 
As long as I'm unkillable, I don't need to trade before purple. What are the trades? 55. So green can't take either of my caps either, so that's fine. I'm going to grab a monster. Hopefully there's not too much ram dingling while I'm away. Give me a sec. Oh no, it's going to kill me! Ah! Also, the is asking about playing unpopular methods. Kind of doing that. Yo, he knocks black out of there? All right, all right. I don't hate that. Green's very easy to card block, though. He's got one more card. Okay, I want to trade with black in his bonus. <laughs> Let's see if Black will let me trade in his bonus. He's got too much. I think it's fair. <clears throat> this 220 on a cap. Nobody's ever getting through this. Now, keep in mind, late game Black would be card blockable. So that is how you beat this person in this position. Because you might look at this and be like, it's unbeatable. But now the trades have started to grow, and uh, card blocking can become a thing. Obviously, I'm way behind these guys, but... I want Gateway AD. You got what? So I want to trade with Black here in his bonus and not mine. He can afford to lose a plus six. <clears throat> He's got enough. And I think he'll play friendly with me here. So we'll see. Green made a good play knocking him out, though. But now here's the other thing. Like, I could trade with Green and Purple, but then I'm the one card blocking Black. And I have to pull a lot of troops off cap to block this. I have to put like a 60 here. I don't want to fuck with black by putting 60 off cap troops. I... <clears throat> Maybe I can do it to get him to hit the purple for a card? Like if I card block him randomly out of nowhere at one time, but then he'll turn on me for the rest of the game. <clears throat> so I need to... Like yes, card blocking him progresses the game, but I think it fucks me big time. Green wants an alliance now. Sure. What do you want, Goose? I don't like you still. Uh. <laughs> Kyle, will you be my Valentine? I don't know, Crypto. I don't know. Not really into the dudes that much. What's up, Ben? Ben Smith. It's Valentine's Day. Hell yeah. Sorry if I'm missing a bunch of chat, guys. I'm just trying to enjoy the game. There's a lot going on, and I, you know me, I don't really shut up. I like to play and talk about the game. What's going on? You like green? He's changed. He's a changed man. We can trust him now. He's our best friend. <clears throat> All right, green wants to hit my territory. Oh! Oh, baby, it's, things are happening! Oh, yeah! Now we're talking. <clears throat> now we're talking. <laughs> oh, baby slammer! Yes. Oh, yeah. So I have to take a card off green <clears throat> because I don't want to close my cap off. <clears throat> What's up, random username to follow on Twitch? What's up, man? Welcome in. D wait, W1Pro with a gift sub 15 minutes ago. I think I missed that. Dude, W1, thank you for the gift sub. I see you're still here. I'm sorry I missed that.
Leave it. I, I don't want to look like I'm just opening green. I want to look like I'm trying to hide in this little cubby hole. Because I think green wants to ram Dingle. I don't understand green's game, but I think he wants to ram Dingle. He does. He's feeding it. Wait, he feeds his kill to black, though. If black has a 27, he can't get him. Black can't get his kill. He's feeding his own kill to purple. If purple can get it, purple's got to trade. Purple's going to get the green kill for two free cards. I understand green's game. Not at all. Andre with the 100 bits. Will you be my valentine? By the way, W1, nice fucking score in round six, bro. You're definitely already qualified for round eight. Not, 10 people won't pass your current score. So congrats. <clears throat> congrats on reaching round nine. Green is an agent of chaos. I don't know what the hell Green is. <clears throat> like, he, he could open the 121 and go slam this. He doesn't have to worry about his 154 losing. Like, I can kill Green for two, and I would. But Purple's gonna do it now, right? Like, definitely I would kill Green for two. Like, that was a full send, right? That was a 195 of Blacks that just got toasted. Like, unless Purple's gonna try coming off the 121 and hit the 159. With what? 80, uh, 94, like 210? He can't get through here. Blacks, safe. <laughs> he says hit purple, hit green, yeah. Is purple gonna card block black? No, he can't. Is he gonna kill green with this stack and maybe fail? <clears throat> hmm. Well, I'm gonna trade. I don't love you, Green. Twenty four and twenty six, baby. <clears throat> Okay. Give Black a thumbs up. I want to work with Black at this point. I That that green suicide slam was a fully pro-purple move. I want to be pro-Black. He's not hitting the 71, right? He's going around it. But that doesn't set a card block up. He's specifically not opening purple stacks, but also not card blocking them. Goes off cap here. The purple trades, he can hit that. He's not going to. Purple might ram me with a bunch of shit now because I killed green if green is his buddy. But I don't... I don't know if that's the case. Green's just also an agent of chaos, as you guys said. So... <laughs> Did green taste the tuna? Like I said, ten, just like I said 10 minutes ago. What the hell's going on? Wait, make this a 100? This is a strong cap that I want to kind of keep in a good spot. Alright, Mike. I have more troops than these guys right now. The problem is, like, what meaningful hit can I do? What meaningful hit can I do that, like, works for both of us? So I could hit the 71. It does trap my stack, though. Like, my biggest concern is trapping this stack. Because as soon as this goes to a 1v1 endgame, like, if purple quits after I slam him or something like that, 
Then card block city happens, and I am blocked against this capital. So, like... <clears throat> do I open as 150? I don't open the 150, right? The 150, if I do open it, it can come around and hit this 95. I don't think he will, though. I'm in the game. Snowballs didn't happen, and I'm in the game. Oh, shit. Six thirty, I go to three hundred. I get a hundred back. I'll be on three cards and a hundred and some odd troops down on purple. <clears throat> but his stacks aren't open. No, I'm not doing that. That was very close. I could have traded, killed black, and traded, but I didn't. Because black might be doing something crazy. <clears throat> okay. Suicides into my cap? Is he full suiciding? to me too. Purple gets his cards if he's fast enough. Oh no, he's leaving a 130 cap. Purple gets his god cap now with a kill guard on him though. If he doesn't open this, it's awkward. So I was going to kill black on five cards if he didn't go back to cap again, but now he did this. Cap at least. At least go to cap. Nice. And then good luck. <laughs> and then quits. Suicide, good luck, quits. Is he worth five cards with that many on cap? Kind of. But I'll card block myself. Like, whoever kills him does card block themselves. And his three, he keeps his 360 open. I have to use my wild. Fuck! Okay, now we're in an interesting spot. Black's going to come off cap, but it's going to trade. Yeah, I only wanted to put a little bit. I went the wrong direction with the scroll wheel. Fuck! I wanted it to stack in here. <coughs> I wanted this cap lower than the 360, so it'd be more likely to stack in here, I thought. Because it'd want to finish this bonus and stack on the 360. But it stacked on me instead. Shit. Maybe I should have just killed him, but then, then purple comes out and sits with the 360 here and I'm card blocked, right? <coughs> if I kill black there... Purple can hit LP Launchpad B and sit there with his full stack, and I, I would be card blocked. That's why he didn't take the kill. Purple knows how to play this game. Now he has to take that card, because this is his only card, and that's a better spot for me. He's going to take this cap now. 
How do I fortify? I, I, I can take my scroll wheel off. Okay, 168, cool. Runs for the corner. Good dice, please. Not terrible. I, like, I don't care if I lose this cap. <clears throat> Black stacking at 230. I don't want to put troops on this, right? This is. I'd rather hold this. Purple has 220. I have 504, but he's going to trade for a lot. But I'm like, I'm pretty locked in with this overpowered position now. <clears throat> but I, I, I've now got the bot between us. The problem is he's going to have the shot at killing the bot before I do. If it stays on this cap, I'm kind of happy with that. I don't want him to have a chance to kill it on four. Cause, okay, it goes like this. If it comes off, actually, I could kill it on four. If the 169 comes off, I could kill the butt. <laughs> no. Okay. Like, he's also easy to card block, right? With this cap here. Hmm, tempting to hit that. Black's going to trade on four, and I don't want it to trade on my capital. I want it to trade on here. I want it to trade right here. The place where Black's touching the most troops is between these two caps. Damn it. This is this is exactly where it's touching the most troops, so I wanted it to be between our caps and have a small chance of hitting the 138. But it wants to go in my face here, which is okay. I have a lead over purple now, I just have to put it in, right? This cap is off. It's not going to open, though, right? There's not going to be an easy path to it. Oh, I guess if the 20 comes down, maybe it does. Stops. Oh, it breaks my bonuses. Damn you, Black. The 19 to the 2 is the easiest. But I don't want the cap that bad. Purple's card blocked, right? What's he get a turn? 18.
So if purple doesn't have a trade and black 51 doesn't go up, the black 51 will go up. But if purple doesn't have a trade and, and that happens, he's card blocked. Or he has to hit the 36, which is fine. Black's on three cards. 130. It's tempting to kill black just to go into the 1v1, but I, I would be reverse card blocked pretty quickly. It's the problem. If purple owned more weird territory, I would probably think about killing black, even if it puts me at a bit of a disadvantage, but not if I can get reverse card blocked like, like super easy. What did I do to the black bot? It hates me? I don't know, man. He did have a trade. Oh, and he's using it here. He didn't want the card block happening. Okay. All right, wait, black didn't go into him. Yeah, yeah. That's fine, because I'm going to trade and do the same thing. <clears throat> He has no trade right now. Good. I guess I didn't need to knock those out. I could have just left this here. I want to leave the 51 there. All right, I have easy cards. If the black, if black bot hits a bunch of stuff and doesn't open the 151, purple actually misses a card. I'm 150 troops up, if he misses a card, we're laughing. We want to see this black 51 not light up. That trade on three was sick for actually making a card block happen. If I was purple there, I probably don't trade on four. I probably hit the 36 and save my trade for five. This is good though. If I can use the bot and myself to block him. Yep. He has to hit the 36 now. Good for you. You got it. Now the 150 goes up. Pointed at my 38. One. Yeah. I wonder if I want to hit that or not. <laughs> Black's on four cards, by the way. Is this enough to kill it? No. Yeah, bot's going to destroy me in here. Yeah, it does trade. Fuck. One seventy troops up. One seventy five. This is terrifying. <laughs> like, I almost want to give up this cap, but the problem with that is. If purple sneaks around and grabs it, he has easier cards later. <clears throat> I don't know if he's going to play that game or not. So bot goes after me, though. Like, if I abandon this cap, would the bot take it? You get 34. He's getting what? 22, but I'm wasting troops into the bot. But also, if I abandon this cap to hit this, 
We can't go back to this because then the bot's going to hit it, right? <clears throat> It'll be too low. The 94 hits it. Jesus. This is so awkward. <laughs> These caps are so choky and weird that I have so many bot stacks in like the oddest positions. Like, I would love to kill the bot on four cards, maybe. Okay, the 51 comes up. That I like. That I like, because at some point it's going to put itself in front of his 222. Huh! Orange screen's the new green screen, sorry. Sorry! Get purple. I'm the only person streaming risk right now? Oh, we got him. He goes back there. Okay, cool. Imagine I had enough to weaken this so the 50 hits it. That'd be cool. It's 190 over him, but he's got an extra card, right? Fucking trades on three, man. Wow. This is gonna be a very long game because I don't think he's gonna work with me on the bot. Black has to Black's gonna get second for his botting. If we could have both hit the bot. The problem is he had me in a position where I couldn't kill the bot, because then he's got me card blocked. Like a 100 percent card block. And then the bot trading on three is like fucking frustrating. I would waste 400 troops to take four cards at this just to just to advance the game in this position too cuz like I can actually set up a card block after that kill. Maybe not quite but Get your trade on. I need to abandon this cap though. <laughs> And, and, and like the e I need to get this 80 off this cap, but I need to do it in like the most painless way possible. Sixty five is going to hit this cap. I mean, he's on three cards. He has one card without hitting this 50. Unless he trades and hits my 29. He gets 18, so he doesn't get through the 29. Oh, man. 
I need to take my bonus back first. The problem is like I need to knock black out so it trades against his 252. But the black, whatever type of bot it is, it wants to be all up in here. It wants to take all these bonuses. It wants to spread all over the place, right? It wants to be everywhere. Like on, on purpose, I lowered my cap to be lower than when it was bordering his cap and it's still stacked fully against my cap. He skipped. Okay. <laughs> he skipped? Cool. Cool. I don't hate that. 272? Is he thinking about some kind of ram dingle? I mean, him skipping's good for me. That's fine. I'm still like 120 troops up on him and he skipped a card, right? So I'm 120 troops fully equal in cards. I probably need to expend troops in a way that gets the majority of the bot troops in the top and then a bunch of light amount of troops in the bottom. So I can trade on ones. And it bot stacks up here a bunch. That's what I want. The bot to stack up here and I can trade on ones down here. <clears throat> so maybe I start knocking out the bottom. I have a trade on three. He's in the exact same position as last turn. He does have a trade on three. That's why he waited. Okay. He waited for me to trade so he could leave a stack here. Okay. All right. I see you. Cool. Take it. Hmm. I might lose this 82 cap to the bot. Not yet. Question is, can I kill the bot on four now? No, well, if I do, he's not card blocked. So he has a card here, though. Looking at the 224. There it is. Hmm. He has no trade. Still has just this one card. He has no trade.
All right, I'm three cards to his two, and we're even in troops. I just, I don't want the game to take forever, so I'm just going to do that. He gets one card. If he has a trade on three, we're hurting. But I get to hold the whole board right now. And I'm going to buff caps. I'm going to bring my fortifies over. I have two empty caps. I, I, I'm done. Make the purple tuna. We hit him with the tuna slapper right there. Let's go. He's going to try to win that? What? 300 comes out. Leaves it trapped. Gives me the capital. Huh. Interesting. How much is this? 91%. Do I want to take a chance that I get this? All right. I got this too. Your game. He concedes, bro. I was going to get him anyways, but he could have fought a little bit longer. <laughs> Thumbs down, break alliance, and fuck you. <laughs> Good game. Good game. He didn't want to go forever in a losing position? Yeah, probably. He probably saw that I knew how to close him out, and he didn't want to go for it. He could have taken a third card and brought the stack out, though. Although he had to guard his cap because I could always sneak in with a cap run with a trade. So, like, I guess he was in a very, very vulnerable position. Black and purple, both masters. Green was an, ex green was an expert. Bro, green, three thumbs down. I'm pointing my third thumb down, except that one's bigger. Thank you guys for joining until the end of the video. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you in the next one.